Hey, what's going on guys? Car Guys here. Today I'm going to talk about the 2020 GMC tailgate. Well, you people are probably saying, why is he talking about a tailgate? Why is he talking about a tailgate? What's, what's so special about a tailgate? Well, as you can see, if you keep up with trucks at all, GMC put this tailgate on their new trucks. It's uh, a multi-pro tailgate. It has six different options for the way you could use it. And like you could use it like a step. It has optional speakers in it. And it also has um, like a office kind of setup where you could fold down just the top. It has, it, it's just a good weird new thing. Now I like it. Do I think it's going to be dependable? Absolutely not. Do I think it's going to get broken easily? Yes. Do I think it's going to be uh, damaged by people that actually use their truck for work? Yes. <laughs> Very easily. And uh, one of the big things with it is it's heavy. I used it at a car at an auto show when we went to, and that tailgate is heavy and it doesn't have an auto up, which is weird because the Chevrolet tailgate has auto up, auto down. Why does the GMC not have auto up, auto down? It doesn't. But the, another bad thing is if you've got a hitch on the back of your truck, all right? You, you got a hitch on. A lot of people just keep their hitch on. If you put a hitch on, you just keep it. And um, a bad thing is if you press the button to drop your, drop your tailgate, the both of them, you just press the button and you drop it and you don't watch, it will bend, well not bend, but put a pretty good dent in the back of your tailgate when you drop that puppy. And uh, I don't know about you, but I really don't want to damage my uh, $70,000 truck. That That's just not a thing I want to do. I don't know, they're probably more than 70,000, but that's definitely not a thing I want to do is damage my $70,000 truck. But that that's just what I think about that. Some people may not think that way. I definitely think that way because I like GM vehicles and I want GM to do the best, but I I don't know what to think about these new trucks. I mean, I like to look at the GMC a little bit more. Chevy guy, but yeah, given the GMC, they kind of look a little better in the front end. Now, do I think the the High Country sits better and it's more luxurious than the GMC? Yes. I don't know why GM does this, but the High Country is a whole lot more comfortable to ride in than a GMC. It's because of the seats. Those High Country seats are to die for. I mean, if you don't buy them seats, what are you doing with your life? Those seats are so comfortable. They're like these Tahoe seats. I mean, they're big old cushion pad things. They're good seats. Only only seat I'd buy in the new vehicle. And they need to put that in the new Tahoe. Put these seats in the new Tahoe and Suburban. We want them. They're good seats. I think they sit way better than the Dodge and Ford seats. But... GMC definitely needs to get their crap together about this. Like, I understand some people do not like uh, the big padded seats, but most people really enjoy big padded seats. I mean, I do, and I I really like this Tahoe, and it's got really big seats, and they're super comfortable to ride long distance, super comfortable to ride short distance. They're just comfortable, but. The GMC tailgate, I got off track there. We need to get back on tailgate. This thing obviously doesn't have a tailgate because it ain't got a bed. It's kind of hard to have a tailgate when you don't have a bed. But, yeah, that they definitely uh, should. Uh, I, I would get the option for that tailgate. I mean, over the competition, the, 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 the Dodge tailgate, uh, it's, it's meh. Barn door tailgate, I don't... I don't like the way it looks from the back because of the crack right there. It's a 60-40 crack. I would think it'd be right in the middle. It 
if you're like OCD, it would really bother you because that's not dead even. That's 60-40. And I know you can get it in every trim where with the GMC tailgate, you can only get it in the highest trims. And it, they say it's easier to load with forklifts and stuff, but the, the GMC tailgate is a lot easier to step up in because of the features that it has like the um, like the step when you fold that all down it becomes a step da, 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 da. it's easier to get in I mean if you're older yes it's a lot easier than the competition's ways to get in especially the Chevrolet it's got the bumper the bumper step it's a whole lot easier to get in the GMC with the non bumper step with the tailgate step than it is the bumper step for older people now Dodge They've got that little footstep. Yeah, it's kind of nice, but not that nice. Um, they have the basically Dodge and Nissan have the same step, essentially. And I mean, it looks the same, everything. They've, they're in the same spot, everything like that. But um, Ford's got that stupid as crap tailgate slide out down thing. That just takes too long. That's finicky where the GMC, you push a button, doo -doo -doo -doo, it all comes down, you step up, you get in your truck, then when you want to put it back, it's just one push up, not slide it, not take the pole down one level, put the pole back in, then slide the step back up. It's like that, as simple as that. Pretty easy. It is heavy, but it's nice, good quality. And uh, I think a lot of people will like that a lot more than the other stuff but I'm not the whole customer base I personally would but I'm not their whole customer base so yeah that's just what I've got to say about it so um, yeah this is that's pretty much what I think about it, and uh, I'll see you guys probably next video. Peace.